Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with my top 10 Minecraft mods for March of 2024, and all these mods will be available for at least version 1.20, and if you'd like to check any of them out, you can find them in the description. And anyway, let's get into the video. All right, so the first mod we're gonna be taking a look at is Walk, Jog, Run. And this mod adds another movement speed in Minecraft, which is, well, walking. And you'll toggle between this and jogging by tapping Alt. And you can also sprint, of course. However, this mod also introduces a stamina system, so you can't sprint forever. Once you've sprinted a certain amount of time, you're gonna get the slowness effect for a bit. Next we have Explosive Enhancement, which is a simple little mod that completely replaces the explosion visuals in the game, and this applies to all types of explosives, for example TNT and Creepers, and it also adds a new explosion visual underwater which looks really cool. Overall, it's a pretty small and simple mod, but still absolutely worth checking out. After that we have Danger Close, and this mod is going to make us so a couple blocks in your game that otherwise were not a problem before are actually going to cause you damage now, and some of these include campfires, which will light you on fire immediately if you walk over them, and stone cutters which will just absolutely destroy you as one would expect. And torches are also listed as something in this mod that are supposed to cause you damage, however, for some reason, they just weren't affecting me. But you know, if you install this mod, go into it assuming that they will. For our next mod, we have Dragon Mount's Legacy. And this is a mod that's been around for a very long time and has seen several revivals, including this one. And with this mod installed, once you've defeated the Ender Dragon and acquired the egg, you can actually hatch it into a fully tameable and rideable dragon. And there's actually quite a few variants of these dragons which you can hatch, and you'll receive these if the egg is placed in some specific conditions. The fifth mod I'll be showing you guys is Fancy Blog Particles Renewed, and this is another mod that's reviving an older one, and this mod's gonna replace most of the particles in your game with 3D versions, and this ranges everywhere from block breaking particles to smoke, even to snow. Next up we have the Nifty Carts mod, and this mod adds three different cart variants to the game, each with their own use. You've got Supply Carts, which have a full double chest worth of space, along with a spot to sit on the back, Plows, which will allow you to make something like a path really quickly, and an Animal Cart, which which simply has two sitting spots in it. Now, for our next mod, we have Biospherical Expansion, which completely changes the world generation in a way that I've never really seen before. The terrain is very smoothed out and has these interesting areas that almost overlap one another, and caves are completely replaced with massive, ever-expanding caverns. So, if you want a mod that completely overhauls terrain generation in a very interesting way, you should give this one a try for sure. Up next, we have Spice of Life Valheim Edition, and if you've ever played Valheim, you know that the food system is quite different than what you find in Minecraft. Craft. Your base health is quite low, and the only way to increase it is by eating three different types of food. And depending on the food quality, you're going to be given more health, and this mod takes this particular system and places it inside of Minecraft. Now, by default, you're only going to have three hearts, and once you eat several different types of food, you'll notice you have more health. And each type of food has a stat that lets you know how much health it's going to give you, how fast your health will regenerate, and how long its effect is going to last. And this is a really great mod to incentivize higher quality food. In normal Minecraft, you can literally dedicate yourself to one specific specific type of food and you're set for life. But with this mod installed, you're gonna strive to get the highest quality food you can get. Nearing the end, we have weather, storms, and tornadoes, and this is another mod that has been around for quite some time and fairly recently was updated to the newest versions of the game. And this is still to this day one of the coolest weather mods I've seen for Minecraft. It adds wind to the game, which carries things like leaves through the air. There's all new weather types, ranging from a hailstorm to tornadoes, and you can even see these storms forming out in the distance. And finally, the last mod I'll be showing you guys today is none other than the Ether. And this mod really needs no introduction. It's pretty much the Minecraft mod. It's been around about as long as Minecraft itself, and is probably one of the most recognizable mods in all of gaming. It is still very popular. The trailer announcing that it's coming out for 1.20 has nearly 2 million views, and I love seeing this mod still receiving updates, because at this point, it's pretty much a part of Minecraft. And that'll do it for this video, and remember, if you'd like to download any of these mods, you can find them all in the description, and if there's any mods you'd like me to include in a future video, be sure to leave them in the comments. And anyways, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.